Hi, welcome to Exploring with Emma Stu. And today we are in Dover still, mm. and we are currently stood right on top of what is known as the Citadel Battery. I'd like to stop you there a minute, Emma. This is the most amazing battery I've been to so far because it's one of the oldest that we've been to, and the design is just big and it's just big, boisterous, it's quite and solid. Impressive. Yeah. And we're going to try and take you for a fairly quick look around before it gets dark because uh, this is certainly going to be our last explorer of the day. Yeah. But this was built in 1901 originally uh, with 9.2 breech loading guns, I do believe. 9.2. Stu's going to show you the emplacement. Very impressive. Do you know what? While we're here and we've got the camera switched on, I think we'll do that. Yeah, because actually... Just keep flowing. Come actually, on. if you have a look at this, look at the bolts on that. I'm actually really excited about being here. Uh, because this is the era that I prefer yeah. more than World War Two. World War One, 1860, 56, things like that. Absolutely yeah. fantastic design, the way it was built, everything about it. And look at this. I mean, this is, you have to sort of watch the gully here and the bolts on the floor. But these, we love things like looking at these. And these were to stop um, ricochet. ricochet, basically. We are talking about massive guns here. Massive. That would have ricocheted quite some some distance, distance. Uh, we normally see these in like napoleonic things absolutely you know so this and is... for a breech loader gun mm. which is unusual to have these is but it? obviously yeah oh, okay, then. because they would have been bolted to the floor they wouldn't have moved mm. but to have those were obviously an extra strength to stop absolutely. the uh yeah. wasn't ricochet emma it was um what's the recoil. word recoil the well word. done it's been a well long done. day it has been a long day but look at this you got mm. the roof uh, this is actually a remainder of the roof, which is really good. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm excited about being this here. This would have been covered over completely. We're on a quite a large cliff here, so I mean, it would have been a great location before all of this got overgrown. But um, yeah, impressive to see the roof. Go on then, Stu. Well, <laughs> just impressive, just all over, really. Um, we don't know what these are for, though. We're going to turn you around. We don't know. We're not too sure if it was to bring ammunition up. I'm, do you know what? I'm looking at them going, I think it was. I would say that, considering just behind this piece of roof, is an expense magazine um, shell locker. And it's right next to what looks like a small tunnel, which has been filled in. But we do know that underneath these, there are underground magazines. And we are going to try and see if we can get in one of them at least. Um, not promising anything. But uh, let's carry on and have a look at some more of these quite amazing Absolutely. gun Absolutely. So we've just come away from this gun battery. Emma's just doing some photographs. But if you have a look at these, you've got the stairs. Now, we've seen this sort of thing at Tilbury, uh, I believe. And they were sort of like, what are they, man, man bridges, Emma? These the, sort of like man bridges where they used to stand and have a look over the wall, maybe? Where these steps are on these... Ga yeah. Yeah, I mean like a, yeah, like a, a gallery, probably not the correct word, where they could have uh, patrolled along the top. Maybe they did want to check out over uh, the other side towards the, the port as well of Dover. Not overly sure. I mean, obviously this is very old, so it's not in very good condition. Uh, it's a bit overgrown. Just walking past another one. I mean, the sheer size of this. I mean, they're all the same. Uh, what we showed you over there with a the roof, that was the best one for me because it had the roof still. Yeah. But, um, yeah. There you go. It looks like there was a structure here. Maybe this could have been a type of... Uh, these were used in World War One and World War Two, so they would have adapted it very slightly. And also, we done one with Liam and Joe from Beyond the Point. Actually, it was with Liam. And we went to, a, I think it was an 1856 World War One battery where it had a little cabin hut right next oh, to the, it. Do you that remember that? It wasn't 1856, but it was a similar age. It was, it was very late Victorian possibly a little later. I would have thought it would have been 1856, mm. but obviously not. It might be World War One. No, it was like, this is 1901, remember? That was a similar age to that. There yeah, you go. Right, and we weren't sure what that was at the time. No, we didn't, so. but then we later found out it was actually like a little crew room. Mm. Uh, obviously, electrics weren't used in World War One, where they've been used in World War Two. Um, it looks like there's a little, little, yeah, look at that. Have a look at to have these little things connected. Yeah, to little tunnels. Yeah. Can't really see it, but obviously I this. To do with moving this shore. actually looks like it's been concreted up. This looks like an ammunition lift hoist. Well, it's big it's, enough to it's be. Got some sort of drainage in it. Look. I don't know. Oh, that's a bit unusual. I don't it's know. Like it had some sort of shelves in there. I don't, I don't know. If uh, you know. Very strange. Yeah. If you know, yeah. Again, yeah. Let us know. And obviously Emma's going up. We've got this little gallery area here. That's it. 
Dover. Oh, I bet it is. But uh, yeah, oh, we've got a tr we, we love a bit of this. The uh, the original uh, handrail yeah. uh, post is just in that corner over so there. This would have had a handrail lid out. Right, right along it. Carry on walking down here. Um, I'm really sorry about the sun glaring, but can't really do anything about this that time of year. <laughs> absolutely but underneath these stairs and over here actually we're not going to go i don't think i'm going to go down this one there's a there's a better one at the other oh, side okay. that is where we're going to be heading but there is a more open gap somewhere Come else on, have a look. get down there well, i'll get down there just arrived literally at an entrance to a magazine mm -hmm. now we've just re realized that people with tires can't get down it but people that have got little tires oh. Can get down well, I'm it, hoping, so I'm going to give it a go. Now we know this is definitely entrance from magazine because just behind us, we've actually got remnants of the, um, the hoist that would have obviously hoisted the shells up and down. It's got the wheels and everything on. That's actually really quite. Cool. It is really yeah. cool. But Emma's going to attempt with this camera to go down there, yeah. and while she's there, I'm going to get the drone up. So we're going to do two jobs, but we will be in constant communication. Absolutely. So. Um, well, I'm going to hand over to Emma, and then I'm going to take to the skies. I'm going to get down there. Off she goes. Right. This is quite a small entrance, and I'm going to get absolutely caked in mud doing this. But, uh, oh well, you only live once, don't you? You do. <laughs> God. Like I said, men with tyres can't get down there. I think you're, better, you're best just not looking for the spiders, because you will see them. God, Jesus. Wow, all right then. Right, so I've just come in. Here we go. Gosh, look, that's been really backfilled as you can see. Uh, over the years, they've tried to fill these in. Um, they are slowly deteriorating quite badly though. Uh, that's not gonna be up there for much longer. But there's a really small entrance just down here and I'm gonna see if I can get down there and squeeze myself through there. Just sliding down here, it's really muddy. <laughs> The really small entrance just down there so uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to turn the camera off I'm not going to attempt to film trying to get in there and uh, I'll see you on the other side right I made it in with a bit of a slide down there <laughs> um, oh Jesus I've just seen all the spiders up there oh my god I literally brushed past them I've probably got a load on me all right I'm not going to think about it um, <laughs> Anyway, let's turn the camera around and I'll show you. This is actually really quite cool if you ignore the spiders. Right, here we go. Uh, we've got a, well, I don't know, I guess that would have been some sort of window or something there. Um, wow, you can tell that this wasn't World War II, that this was slightly earlier because it's got quite a lovely vaulted ceiling there. Um, and also, what well, would have been light tunnels, I imagine. Um, because of course they wouldn't have had electric in those days and they couldn't really have naked flames and things down here. But it's a funny smell down here. It always smells, it smells a bit like biscuits. Oh look, that's some, something hatch. That's where they would have moved the shells in and out from what is the magazine in there. We'll have a look in a moment. Again, well look at this. We've got the, uh, they would have put a, um, probably some sort of lamp in there ventilation and probably would have been cased off. Again, you didn't want any naked flames down here. Um, this is actually the shell hoist. And that is really impressive. Uh, let's see what's up there. Oh yeah, it would have gone. There would have been a hoist obviously there. And that would have obviously not been capped off back in the day. And they would have hoisted the shells up and down, up and down. So yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, got some nice little ventilation things here. It's oh, quite nice. Right, what have we got in here? Look mm. how clean these walls are. I'm just going to point that out. These walls are really clean. Oh, wow, look. Just up here, number two, shelter store for something. Can't quite see. But that must be original writing from obviously back in the day. That is really cool. <laughs> Keep saying it, but it is really cool. What Shane Stu didn't come down here. Um, ooh. Well, that's interesting and obviously not original. But it's quite an old bike. 
Um, again, I imagine this was just magazine for uh, for shells. Like I said, there was massive 9.2 uh, guns in here, so the shells would have been huge. I mean, you've got a bit of ventilation up there, I should imagine. You see all the way up there? Wow. Ventilation here and here. Of course, they could, didn't want this to get damp down here. Um, don't know whether they're keeping cool dye or anything down here once upon a time. Again, we've got a bit of a light tunnel. Any little ones in here? Shelf brackets. Bit of a wooden door there. Very impressive. If I had more time, I'd uh, have a little look at some of the remnants and things on the floor. But to be honest with you, I just want to get out. Let's get dark. <laughs> what got there? Ah, I don't know. Got hooks. Hooks running along there, so surely they were doing something. Hooked up there. God, this spider's hanging down. Jeez. <laughs> right, let's get in to what was, I believe, the main, oh, I said the main magazine, but this is like a small corridor into it. Okay, so, oh, oh wow, look. I don't know if you can see that. But that's actually the one next next door. Oh, I'm trying to show you, but I don't think you can see. There is actually a room through there. Oh, if Stu was there, I would have got in that. But I'll never get back out on my own. Again, a little bit of ventilation there for what would have been this is a light tunnel, obviously. But anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> I don't want to be in here for too long. Again, look, that's just number 12 on there. Number. Number six. Ah, this is really cool. Hatch. Hatch something on there. Wow, okay then. And here we have the main magazine. Very similar to things that we see at Beacon Hill Fort in Harwich in Essex. Well worth a look if you're ever in that area. So clean. I love these uh, ventilation grills. Again, they needed to keep this place really dry, so you need plenty, plenty of ventilation. But anyway, let's just turn you around. I think that's probably all there is to see down here. I'm sure if we had to dig around, we would probably find an awful lot more. I mean, you can see where there was things mounted on the walls here and everything. It's, this is really, really cool. It was definitely worth having a little look, even if it's not the most professional made video that we've ever done. But I'm now going to clamber over all this rubbish and uh, now I've realised how many spiders are hanging around down that hatchway I'm not going to enjoy getting out quite so much but uh, Stu's waiting for me so we'll see you up there <gasps> So Emma just... has just literally gone down there and it's quite obvious reason I couldn't go down <laughs> there because I know people are going to go well, why don't you go, I can't fit It Simply. was quite tight but uh, I just about managed but I, I'm not even scared of spiders but, but when I realised I literally went for a tunnel full of spiders to get in there and I had to then get out again, I did freak a little bit, I'm not yeah, going to lie. Yeah, I, well you probably didn't hear that on the recording, but Emma screamed. <laughs> oh, I and I didn't, and I was doing the drone, so I didn't know what it was. So. <laughs> but um, Anyway, that was good fun. It was really cool down there actually. It was so clean, like the walls, there's no graffiti. I don't think I saw a single piece of graffiti down no, there. No, that's quite amazing. So Stu's going to look forward to seeing that. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, apparently he got a little bit of drone footage. Yeah, we have. So uh, this is only a short little explore yeah. um, for both of us yeah. um, because it's getting a bit dark now, it's and I think we we need something to eat. So much more to see here. Yeah. As you could see, um, this particular um, magazine connects on to another one next door. We looked through that little hatchway, didn't we? And we saw him, but I couldn't climb through that on my own. Um, maybe if we'd have gone into the other one later Possibly. date. We'll definitely return when it's not getting dark. But Absolutely. This, it's been really cool anyway. Yes. Um, so, uh, we'd like to say thank you to our Patreons uh, and our supporters. Yeah. If you do want to join our Patreon, it's £3 a month. Absolutely. And it's all in yeah. as well. After 12 months, I think you receive a nice little gift from yeah. us. And if not, you know, you can subscribe to the channel for free. Absolutely. That uh, really helps us uh, to get the videos out there a little bit more and some yeah. more views. So we'd really appreciate that. Uh, comment. We love your comments. We yeah. always reply. And we always reply. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. And get us on Instagram and Facebook. Absolutely. Um, so, as from Exploring with Emma Stu at, at Dover. At in the Citadel Battery. Battery, yeah. Uh, we'll see you again on another Dover trip. See you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.